Okay, so to make a jig or a carrier board or a sled, there's many words for it, uh, for this lithopane in order to carve this, I usually have make one with the software itself. So let's start another new project. And let's give the dimensions. So this length is, is 10, so the carrier sled needs to be at least 17 for our three inch rule and then width let's go ahead and give it at least an inch margin on both sides so 17 by 10 and then this will be three quarter inch wide now if you don't understand why I'm adding seven inches on this you need to read chapter two of the learning guide to understand the seven inch rule uh, it's a very simple explanation in there but it is critical to operating the machine properly uh, you need to understand the board setup, 7 inch rule, uh, which is basically a margin for the machine, and and all of those other parts of chapter 2, which are very critical and go right along with these software pieces that we're talking about. Okay, let's create that board. So I'm going to use my rectangle drawing tool and draw a rectangle here on the board. Right click, center it on both and then I'm simply just going to type in up here 10 by 8 and there's my 10 by 8 rectangle then I'm going to use that carve region tool that we used every time we've been drawing rectangles so far and I'm going to re recess that entire area down and it defaults at a quarter inch, which is the thickness of our lithopanes. So now we can simply take that piece of Corian plastic and drop it right into this recess and secure it in there with some double stick tape, uh, which is what I usually use, that more heavy duty carpet type double stick. And then uh, put this in the machine and it's ready to carve. I usually carve this jig itself out of a piece of MDF because it's usually nice and stable and it's not going to warp and I run a piece of masking tape along the bottom edge that's going to be riding along the tracking roller again if these are not terms you're familiar with uh, chapter 2 in the learning guide is where all of this information is covered another tip that a lot of people like to do when creating these jigs is go over here you can draw a circle and put a circle right in the middle and cut that out just with the defaults there it's just fine to accept we can hide oh we need to flip the cut to the inside line hide that and then now if you're using really heavy duty tape sometimes it's hard to pull out now you've got the ability to push it out from the back side that piece of plastic once it's finished and if you need some help getting it freed from the jig so there's your basic jig for carving lithophanes